Hello, teacher. Good evening. <clears throat> Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Perfect.
Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. We are going to start. So we're going to check the platform. This is the class of today. Sketch basic plan to select a 3PL provider. And here there is also the question for, for today. There is no homework for today. So just the class. Of course, you can move on. You can continue with the platform okay so we're going to check the attendance that's the first thing that we're going to do definitely ada patricia linares galdames present teacher good adriana stephanie martinez flores ana selmi chavez flor de maria carballo Ugarte. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Good evening. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. We are going to start the class of today. So let's check some details on that one. Okay, of course, we will continue speaking about logistics. This is a little graphic, a flow chart about what we have been checking, right? So um, in a process, there is always uh, something that is like the income and the outcome, right? So in this case, the first one is the supplier. Who is the supplier? What do they do? What is a supplier do? Is like a provider. It's a provider, very good. It's the one that provides you raw materials or things that you are going to use so you can produce a product or something, yes. right? So, uh, well, they might be a third party logistics provider. Uh, if that is the case, there is a transaction happening and there is a logistics service also happening. And that comes to a manufacturer, the producer, the one do, that creates a product. Okay, then uh, if we use a third party logistic provider again, we can get another transaction, another logistic service. Uh, so that goes to a retailer or a consumer a buyer. So this is like the whole procedure, uh, but in a simpler way, right? Supplier, sometimes they use third-party logistics provider, 
manufacturer that makes some procedures and processes. And then sometimes they use third party logistic provider so they can go to a retailer or buyer. Any questions on this little graphic? No teacher. Good. And the other one is like the explanation, right? It says logistics is a three-way relationship between a buyer, the supplier of goods and a logistic service provider. So we have the first party that is the shipper or supplier. That is the first one, okay? The provider of raw materials and many other things. The second party is the buyer who buys. And the third party is a firm acting as a middleman. And third party logistics is the use of an outside company to perform all or part of the first materials management and product distribution function. So this is like a flow in general, right? About logistics and what we need to do. Any questions on this? No questions. Okay, we are going to continue with the book. Okay, uh, well, we're still in unit two. And it says, I will be able to sketch a basic plan to select a 3PL provider. So what is to sketch a basic plan? What do you understand about that one? To sketch a basic plan. Any, uh -huh. Okay, like sketch a basic plan is like to to create a basic, I mean to draw, to do the annotations about something that is very basic, like the start, the starting point of a plan. Not all the plans start like in a very structured way or with a lot of detail. Sometimes you just need to think in a brainstorm, what do I need? What do I want to achieve? And then what are the steps so I can go there? And then we start creating like a plan, asking us questions, researching about that one. So that is a sketch of basic plan like do a brainstorming. Do you know, do you remember what is brainstorm? Yes. What is that? It's a lot of ideas about some, about. That is it, like brainstorming is I want to do or I want to solve a problem and I start thinking, right? And then I start writing some basic annotations and then you can start creating a plan. And in the number one it says, how do you pick the right 3PL for your business? We have checked that a lot. So there are many things that we need to check. What do I need? What do they offer? Uh, where are they located? About packaging, about customer satisfaction, many things. So is price the most important criteria to decide on the, th on the right 3PL? What do you think? Uh, for me, Teacher, uh, no, no is probably the most important. Okay, definitely it's not, right? Sometimes cheap is not good. So, yeah, there are many, many things that we have to take into consideration. And we are going to do the conversation here. It says, oops, read the conversation between Bob and Daisy. They are discussing the option of hiring a 3PL provider for their SAP business. Okay, as usual, we are going to repeat. Here we go. There is no more room in our house for more of our, your organic SAP. From our organic SAP. 
Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with in the storage. Don't you think it's time to take out the business out of the house? It found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the in storage i don't think so Bob. as far as i know the business is not big enough to hire a third party service i don't see i don't think so but as far as i know the business is not big enough to hire a third party service to the best of my knowledge the shop is selling like crazy and i believe it could help us to sell more Uh, with the best, like, which stop and like police, and I will call help to say more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and they can call them to get some advice. Perfect. Thank you. So we're going to check some vocabulary. No more room. What is to have room? What the? In this case, it's not that. There in is relation with oh, space space mm -hmm. very good physical space there is no more room i have no room for this so i need more space right very good it says in our house for more of your organic stuff so as you can see here this is um a business that they do at home right they say there is no more room in our house for more of your organic stuff don't you think it's time to take business out of the house so to other company of course uh, let's see any other. Uh, this is important on Google, not in Google. Remember the prepositions are very important in English. So since you are using uh, Google, it's a website. Every time that you are speaking about a website, is going to be on on the website on Google. Okay. Uh, let's see storage. I don't think so. But as far as I know, I believe that you know that one, right? Uh, the business not big, big enough higher. Mm. I don't think there is any other. Do you have any questions on this conversation? I forgot what is storage. Storage, good question. Storage is when you store something in the warehouse, when you keep it. Good. Any other question? As far as I know, is uh, I, I know, know how knowledge. As far as I know, it's something like what I know until now, to my knowledge, what I know is this, something like that. So as far as I know is my understanding is that something is going on or whatever, right? Good. Advice, what is advice? Is a um, suggestion. Very good. It's like a suggestion. When you have the experience, right, you give a piece of advice to other people. Why don't we do this? this. So it's, it's something like that. Any other question about this conversation? How do you pronounce couple? Couple. Couple. A couple. Just a couple. A couple. Mm -hmm. And in internet? Internet. Yeah, internet. That is the best. Internet. 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 Any other question? Okay, so let's practice then. Let's see. Nelson and Osmin, please, you start. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, I am a star, Nelson. Okay. There is no more room 
in our house for more of few organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of he house? I found something called search party logistic in on Google. Help you how wish the crash. Okay. I don't think so. But as for us, I know the business, I know big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the shop is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of sourcing the part the packaging. Choose a, co a couple of those companies from the internet and the them we can call them to get some advice. Very good, perfect. Now, Rose and Lourdes. Okay. I start Lourdes. Okay. Okay. There is no more room in your house for more or the organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third-party logistics on Google. This service could help you could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third-party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soup is selling like crazy and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the vacation. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Good, perfect. Now, Susana and Mayra. Okay. okay. I start. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the shop is selling like crazy and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of house companies from the internet and then when can tell to get some advice. Very good, perfect. Now, Carla and uh... Ricardo. Okay. Ambo, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, but uh, as far as I know, the the business is not big enough to hire a free body service. To the best of my knowledge, the sod is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. I was. Actually, think of a starting day package. Choose a group of two company from the internet as being will came called to their summit as they. Very good, perfect. Now, Flor and Ophelia. Okay. Okay. 
there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found some time called tire party logistic on Google. The service could help you out with the storage. Hello, Ophelia, it's your turn. Uh, okay. I did not, I think, and some box has far. Has, I know, I guess, Bucini is no beep. He not to direct. I did party serve. To the best of my knowledge, the soap the, is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help you to sell more. I went, I was actually, I this thing was austerism. I did pa parking, parking, are close, glo no, chosen. I corporate us dozen companies, companies I force I the enter and that's where I can I call I did to help so many advice. Advice. Okay, very good, perfect. Now Guadalupe and Ada Patricia. Okay. I start. Okay. There is no more room in the house for more of your organic soap. So, do you think it's time to take this out of the, of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service will help you out with the store, storage. I don't think, I don't think so both. As far as as know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my my knowledge, the soup is serving like crazy. And I believe it will help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a call of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Very good, perfect. Now, Sandra and Anna Salmi. Hi teacher, hi classmate, good evening, I'm sorry. I am late. Hello, I am welcome. Both. There is no more room in, the, in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, but as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and the we can call them to get some advice. Thank you, Sandra. Very good. Thank Perfect. You. Thank you. Now it's going to be, uh, let's see, Jancy and Pamela. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's, it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. The service could help you out with to a store. 
I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of the of my knowledge, the shop is the ceiling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of oversourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Very good, perfect. Now, Zulma and Michelle. Okay, I'm gonna start. Uh, yes, Zulma, are you here? Hello, Zulma. I guess she's not here. Susanna, could you please help? Of course. Hi. I am both. Oh, bueno, you say. Okay. Michelle okay. and Susanna. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start. Okay. Uh, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Perfect, thank you. Now, Rafael, and uh, I guess the rest of the people you read already. Sulma, are you here? Okay, so Rafael and uh, let me check who else is. Hi. Okay, okay, go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay, it's, uh, there is no Nibble. more. Okay. There is Sorry. no more room in your house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business? Sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, do you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This survey could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, but as far as I know, they, but they business is not big annoying to hear at this party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. Can I believe it? Believe it could help us to sell more. Will yeah, I was actually think of uh, of choosing the package, choose a good of whole of whole company from the internet and then we can call the two great uh, summit advice. Very good, perfect, thank you. Okay, so it says below, read the conversation again and answer the questions. So, are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their products? Uh-huh. What do you think? Yes, they have a problem because don't have a, a room, don't have a space, the first. Very good, perfect, that is it. They don't have space. So if they continue like that, maybe they are not going to get more customers and more sales. Do they know a lot about 3PLs? No, they, they, uh... Oh my God, they found something on Google. 
Exactly. So that's, I believe that that's what happens to everybody, right? Even if it's your own business or if you have a new position in a job, uh, sometimes you know some things, but you don't know many other things. So you need to research. And as the video that we saw yesterday, as you remember, even if you are a small company, you need to go and research, ask questions, and meet with other companies, partners, things like that. I work uh, in that figure in 2001, but I didn't know how, how was the name. And now I know, I know, I know I say, oh, that's mm, third party. <laughs> very good, perfect. That's yes. very, very nice. Okay, so the question number three says, do you think Bob and Daisy will consider prices when hiring a 3PL? I what? think yes. I think is is something you can do for a business. You need thinking in the cost inversion, um, and I don't know how you say when your rentability, uh, your profitability. Yes, you think in that it's important. The price. Very good. I I, I think I I. They, they are not considering price a hitting. You say that, no, maybe not. No, that. Okay. Uh, yeah, when it might be, go ahead. Say, when they say they use in internet and, and they think in outsourcing, they know they have the page that yeah, definitely. They know that they have to pay. So, well, I believe, in my opinion, that yes, they are uh, thinking, I think they are considered prices when hiring a 3PL because, for first of all, it says uh, the business is not big enough to hire a third party. So that is not about operations. It's about money. So they say, uh, but we don't have enough money. So price is important. But at the end, uh, Daisy says, uh, well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. So not all the logistics, only the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. I mean, we're going to research. Actually, that is a very good first step. We're going to call the companies and we're going to present our product or need and they are going to give us advice. So we can make a decision. So yeah, of course, pricing is important, but it's not the most important thing, okay? Okay, let's move on. Um, in the next one, it says how to use expression of uncertainty. We checked that already, but anyways, we are going to read about it. Uh, Flor, could you please read the first part? Expression of uncertain. uncertainty. Uncertainty. Are you said when you need to say that you are not certain about some, something or that something may or may not be true? Or when you have in complaint and knowledge about a situation. That is it. So when you're not sure, it's kind of basic. It's kind of easy. Ada Patricia, could you please read the other part? Okay. Use a comma after the expression on uncertainly when they proceed cl a close. Continue. I, okay. I will. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but the current financial situation may lead the to layoff a did get did we get any report on when to expect the product no do not not to my knowledge i think they are de delayed as far as i know most companies selling good use a 3pl for at least 
some domestic function. Very good. Okay. So as you can see there, uh, there is like a, a rule for a clause. Do you remember what is a clause in grammar? What is a clause in grammar? Do you remember? The rule, teacher. Yeah, the, a clause is, as you may oh, remember, oh. when you have a clause, yeah. Oh. When you have when you have two ideas, right? And the two ideas, one sometimes is independent and sometimes one is dependable of the other one. So that is a clause. So in this case, it says, use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they precede the cloud. So when it's before a clause. Mm -hmm. So for example, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but, and there is the comma, right? But the current financial situation may lead to layoffs, okay? So this, the, the uncertainty, the expression of our uncertainty is, I wouldn't like to say this for certain. So I don't know, I'm not sure, but the current financial situation may lead to layoff. What is a layoff? Do you remember? Okay, a layoff is when you must stop operations because of one reason or other reason. So you need to stop. So it says, did we get any reports on when to expect the products? And again, there is an expression of uncertainty separated by a comma. So that is important. Not to my knowledge. I think they are delayed. As far as I know, comma again. Most companies selling goods use a 3PL for at least some domestic functions. So there are three examples of expressions of our sanctity and separated by a comma because they are before the clause. Do you have any questions on this? When so I the make the homework, I know very questions. Okay. Um, yeah, practice is very important in these kind of situations. Whenever we're speaking about grammar or positions or uh, things like that, practice is the most important. Okay, uh, sure. go ahead. And you, you try uh, grammar exercise, for example? Uh, could you please repeat your question? I just didn't get it. Uh, can you give an example of grammar of this clause? Oh, well, there are three examples there. The first one is, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but the current financial situation may lead uh, to layoffs. Of course, this is, this is uh, with business related, but you can use some other things. So for example, you can say, uh, I'm not very sure, but I believe tomorrow we have English, English class. So that is the same, the only difference is that, well, when you are talking, you don't say the comma, but it should be there. The comma should be there, okay? I'm not for sure, comma, but, and then you say the other part of the clause. Okay. Good, any other question? Okay, so uh, Nelson, could you please read the other part? I doubt and it's very unlikely. Do not need to be following be a, a comment. I doubt, I doubt it's good idea to hire a TPR if you need to control the safety of your company, companies and shipment, shipments. It's very unlikely for a medium-sized business to be able to do shipping on its own. Very good. So this is a little bit different. When we use I doubt, so I'm not sure, of course, I, I have doubts. And 
it's very unlikely. It's very unlikely. It's like, um, I don't think that it's going to happen. It's, it's not probable. So it's very unlikely. And I doubt, do not need to be followed by a comma, even if they are before the clause. So that is the difference. If we're going to use I doubt or it's very unlikely, we don't use a comma. Okay, so for example, I doubt it is a good idea to hire a 3PL if you need to control the safety of your company's shipments. So I doubt it, no comma, can you see? No comma at all. And the other one says it's very unlikely for a medium sized business to be able to do shipping on its own. So it's very unlikely and there is no comma. So when we use those two, only those two, comma is not necessary. That is the only difference. Okay, so do you have any question about this? If there are no questions, we are going to check the other one. Circle the correct expression says, okay. In number one, how is it gonna be? For certain. For certain, very good. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but we may need to change our distributors. Mm, okay, that is a good opinion. Number two, how is it gonna be? Not in my love, not in my, not in my knowledge. Not in my knowledge. So he says, did the managers finish evaluating the three PLs available? Uh, actually it's the other one, not to my knowledge. Not to, okay. Not to my knowledge. I, I don't know, it's like, I have no idea. Okay, number three, how is it gonna be? I doubt. I doubt. Okay. I doubt it is effective to hire more than one third party logistics service. Mm, yeah, I believe that is a good opinion. Having two or, or more than one third party logistics might be a mess. It's better to work just for one. Uh, what about the number four? How is it gonna be? Not to my knowledge. Very good. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, it could be. Yeah, but not to my knowledge, it has to be because it's an uncertainty. So not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. Look at the comma. We need the comma there, definitely. And number five, how is it gonna be number five? It's very un unlikely. Very good. It's very unlikely for a small company to require logistics global services. Mm. Yeah, for a small company, maybe it's not that common. Very good. Do you have any questions on this exercise? Any word, any grammar, anything that you need clarification to? Not right now. Good. So uh, I think about distribution is uh, and then come on. Now we're not going to do this. Oh, there was another thing that we were going to do, but not right now, okay. <clears throat> so we are still in unit number two. It says, I will be able to design a basic checklist to hire a 3PL. We also did that before in another class. So like not the checklist, but what things are uh, the ones that we need to consider so we can hire a 3PL provider. And it says in number one, let's start. Does your company use basic warehouse functions like receiving, stacking, packing, or shipping? Anybody? Does your company use basic warehouse functions like receiving, stacking, packing, or shipping? Anybody wants to share? Yes, of the company. In your company, they do that. Yeah, with stocking, package, and shipping. Very good. And do you do all by yourself or do you have a third party, uh, 3PL? No, all by yourself. All by, all by yourself. Very good. That's yeah. nice. Good. Yes. 
And then it says, why is it important to do a thorough needs assessment before hiring a 3PL service provider? Okay, what is your opinion on this? Why is it important to do a thorough? Do you know what is thorough? A thorough. Well, that is complete. Why is it important to do a complete assessment? Okay, needs assessment before hiring a 3PL pro service provider. Why is important that one? What do you think? Company save uh, money. Definitely. The, mo uh -huh. the most important, I think, is the company save money. Of course, I mean, the, the logistics most important thing is about money, right? About time, about wasting any material. So that is it. Uh, and well, it's important to do uh, an assessment of my need, the ones from my company. So I, I look and hire the correct, the right 3PL service provider. Probably I'm going to have a lot of companies that want to provide their services. Which one is the best? The one that accomplish, that, that fits more into my needs. That is it, right? So we need first to know what do I need so we can hire the right company. Okay, it says building vocabulary, match the logistics services to their corresponding meaning. Okay, so we're going to do this together. Let's see. Uh, hold on a second. Osmin, could you please read the first one? Okay, teacher. Uh, a company, the organization. A company that organizes shipment for corporation uh, to get to from to from the manufacturer to a market, summer or final point of distribution. Okay, so a company, so look at this, it's a company that organizes shipments for corporations to get goods from the manufacturer to a market customer or final point of distribution. What do you believe is this one? Freight forwarding service. Very good. It's freight forwarding service. Nice. Good. Okay, let's see, lower this. Could you please read the second one? Okay, uh, second one, uh, freight forwarding service. Uh, the other part, it provides. Ah, sorry. It provides a point system to scoring building design and construction. Very good. It provides a point system to score green building design and construction. What is this one? What do you believe? I think it's disaster recovery plan. Disaster recovery plan. Uh, yeah, because it says green building, design and construction. Yeah, it might be that one, definitely. Uh, let's check the other ones to see, to be sure. Let's see, Carla, could you please read the third one? Product from a supply or distributor directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to not handle or store time. What do you think is this one? Um, so it's products from a supplier <laughs> are distributed directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. So time is going to be very short. Is little D? Yeah. Cross-docking Cross -docking. Cross -docking capabilities. So it's going to be like right away. I'm, I'm going to move from here to this in no time, very fast. Okay, uh, let's see. The last one, Ada Patricia. Uh, set a procedures to recover and, pro and protect a business, its infrastructure in the event of a disaster. Okay, so a set of procedures to recover and protect a business IT. So this is IT, uh, 
infrastructure and the event of a disaster. So what is that one? I think that me... is the letter C, the disaster recovery plan. Mm, disaster recovery plan. What about letter and A? The second, uh -huh. In the second, second is lead certification. certification because it's about green. Building. Exactly. So lead certification is the second one and the last one is about disaster recovery plan. Very good. Perfect. Um, we are going to continue. Let's see. So it says, uh, discuss the following checklist with areas to consider when evaluating your third party logistics candidates, which are the most important. So this is like a checklist. So remember that a checklist is whenever you say uh, it's accomplished or not. Does it do it or it doesn't do it? So something like that. Number one, uh, could you please read that one? Let's see. Okay. Michelle, could you please read the number one? Okay. They are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. What do you understand on this one? Uh, that the, that uh, they are established because they have a successful operation. That is it, right? So they have experience and they know their business. So they are very strong and we are not going to have any problems with this one. And uh, Mayra, could you please read the number two? Okay. They have great references. What do you understand on this? Yes. What is this about? Uh, because it's a system that gave long time and function when when you use it. Yeah, about references, right? So what, what you do is when you go and ask other companies about the services of the 3PL. So you have reviews on what they have done with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Carla, could you please read number three? They have a disaster recovery plan. If for me is yes. And what is that disaster recovery plan? What is that about? Because it's a principal point for any any business. Definitely. So remember that disaster recovery plan is regarding the technology infrastructure. So if something happened to the system, do they have a backup? Do they have the papers? So are they are going to lose my information about my customers or the products that they have in the warehouse or the way the roads for them to deliver. So that is very important, definitely. Yeah. Good, uh, let's see. Mm. Ophelia, could you please read number four? I, I guess often cross a uh, docking capa capability. Capability. Okay, so why, uh, what is this about? Mm, I was a um, uh, Capacidad <laughs> en la compañía. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, it's just like uh, to move products very fast in no time. So are, are they offering that part? So that is a good question, mm -hmm. right? Uh, let's see. The next one is going to be for uh, Rose. They offered freight forwarding services. Good. What do you remember about freight forwarding services? Maybe the, the third party logistic offered you the, the trailer, the transportation to the merchandise. Very to good. translate the product between company between the the between the the fabric to the supplier to the retailer or the but the client, the customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yeah, that is very important as well to move something from the factory to the to the retailer, warehouse, or any other thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, the next one, number six is for Susana. I'm sorry. They have experience in the countries in which you do business. Oh, that is very important as well, right? What do you understand on that? I think they have a present in, in other place. That is it. Because it's important because uh, in that way, if they have presence, if they do business in other companies where I need to do business, they they know what to do. They have the experience. They know about the laws, the government, the papers that they have to fill because every country is different. Okay. And the last one is going to be for Ricardo. Go. No. Okay, please read number seven. Okay. They have experienced in and number the country. They love, they have led uh, leadership in engine, engine. No, it's engine, energy. Uh -huh. And every mom, every mental, they sing certificate, certification. Okay. So okay. they have lead leadership in energy and environmental design certification. That it's is also important. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. Is a pronunciation the lead? A lead. 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 Only lead. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, if they have this one. So this is a little checklist. Whenever you are going to go to an interview, you can have a checklist and then you check yes is possible no it's not possible maybe another space there for for observations right they can do this but with these limitations they can do this but they uh, you need to pay more so sometimes things like that are very very important okay my friends do you have any question about this No more questions, very good. So let me just check something very quickly before we go and check about, check about their attendance. Oh, oh it's this one, okay. Yeah, okay, we don't have to. And it's going to be this one, okay. Okay, let's check the attendance there. So Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good. <coughs> Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Zulma Rosabra López García. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Very good, perfect. So let me check about. Okay. Okay. And uh, let me just check what would be our best. No, we're not going to do the evaluation. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's continue with this part of the class. So we we have been discussing about logistics for a while now. A lot of uh, a lot of things, a lot of things about three PL, two PL, four PL logistics. So let's analyze three cases. In mind that we uh, we have a company that produces fruits, okay, and we want to hire a 3PL company. So what is the first thing that I need to do? So we have a company and we are part of a company that sells fruits to the whole country, to El Salvador, many points in the Salvador. But now we want to hire, we want to get a 3PL. So we decide that one right now. Hey, let's hire a 3PL. What do we do now? What is the first step? Starting the, starting the price, the cost that the company okay. offers to me. Okay, okay. Might be, it might be. Any other product? opinion? I have a product. Yeah, but my products are fruits. We know that they are fruits. I have yeah. to know if they have experience doing this, I think. If they have experience, very good. Yeah. What else? Is to know merchandise? More or less, yeah. Well, let's work together on this one. The first thing that we need to do is what we need as a company. How much fruit am I going to produce? Uh, how many places I need to distribute that for? In mind that we want to distribute that to every department in El Salvador to 14 places. So that is one of our needs. So what I need is the first step as a company. Once I know what I need, then I can go and start contacting the company and get interviews, right? Do you offer this? Do you offer this? What do you offer? What are the pricing? What are the times? What are the kind of transportation that you offer? And then I see if that matches to my needs. <coughs> and of course, we're going to then decide what will be the best three PL. So that are, those are the three main steps whenever you want to, to get that one. Let's do another case for computers. In mind that I want, I want to distribute computers from El Salvador to Central America. What do I do first? Expertise. Oh, I'm sorry. Personally, pers personally expertise. Personal in the, in the computer uh, program. Okay. What else? What is the first step? Do you remember the first step that we mentioned already? I have I I have I have to know uh, what I need, who is in the market and in the other in the other side. I, I, I need to have a, a marketing plan previously. That is it. I need to yeah. know how many computers am I going to yeah. ship? How who, is many... my, who is my target? Exactly. Many things that are, but it's based on my needs first. Then I do a checklist. Let's go more in deep in this part. In mind that you need to, to build questions. What questions will you ask to the 3PL in the interview? For computers, of course. Price. I'm price. sorry? Price, definitely. Price. That is one of the questions. What is the pricing for your services? Benefits or benefits. Benefits. Why should I hire you and no other company? Any other? 
Quotations. Yeah, yeah, you can check uh, who do you work with, what other companies are you working with, so we can check into that. Any other? Thai the experience. Yeah, how much time of experience do you have in the market? Very good. What else? You should repeat the question, teacher, please. What questions would you ask if you are in an interview with a 3PL uh, to check if this is the right one for us, if we want to distribute computers? What different capacity? Capacity, capacities of the or type of the transportation. That is very yeah. good because regarding computers, I mean, for computers, they need to be very careful, right? Uh, transportation has to be very, very good. No water. I mean, even if it rains, it has to be safe. The packaging has to be treated in a careful way. So that is very important. And also you say something, what is the capability? How many or how much um, do, do you offer for this one? There is another word that is also very important in this one, scalability. Do you remember what is scalability? Como taxes? Uh, no taxes, but it's about if I if I want to sell this month a thousand computers, uh -huh, and I need the next month ten thousand to sell capacity. to distribute yes. capacity, but fast capacity one, scalability. Yes, scalability. Yes. That is also very very important because uh, I mean sometimes that happens. Sometimes you need to distribute a lot of things in a short time. Are you able to help me? So that is it. Is depend the volume because exactly. uh, between more quantity, the the price is distributed. Distributed. This se distribuye, teacher. It distributes. It's distributed distribute. between different product. It is um, cheaper because. Okay. Because is a, a, is is a good take different part of the of the free of the rate. Okay, it's important the volume the the find the specific volume where where the cost is more efficient if. Efficiently? Efficient. Efficient. Uh -huh. Yes, efficient. I'm sorry. Very good. Perfect. I am, I am slow today. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> don't worry. Sometimes we don't feel very well. Sometimes we're sick. Sometimes we're tired. But if you practice, it's good. Okay? That's good. Okay. So the last case is for shirts. So I'm going to distribute shirts from here to um, the other side of the world. So what is the first step again that we need to check into? Design, design okay. for product. Okay, the size. But remember, remember what is the first thing that we need to do? The very know first the, thing. Now, now the market, what, what I need, what, I, what exactly. do I need? That is the first step. What do okay. I need? What do I need? What are my okay, plans? Yeah, I want export? to. Uh -huh, I want to distrib distribute shirts. What do I need? Market. So market. Yeah, check the market. Check my productions. Check my install capability. There are many things that we need to check into. Uh, but first, my needs. Then I can create a checklist. Then I can go to an interview. For shirts, imagine that I want to distribute shirts. What do you believe are the most important things that I have to consider to hire a 3PL? Quality. Quality, very good. And transportation. 
Transportation is also very important. I mean, shirt has to be in very nice condition. What else? Package. Packaging, definitely. So I'm going to send you the shirts and how is going to be the packaging for you. Any other thing? Storage in the place. Storage in the place, very good. Uh huh. What else? It's stock. Merchandise. Merchandise is stocking that the one, how you are going to handle the stocking in the warehouse and when it's in movement. Yes. Very good, nice. We have learned many things. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, now we're going to continue. We're going to check the six most uh, common mistakes uh, e-commerce makes in logistics. So we're going to read a little bit. This is the first one, too small or too large warehouse. Let's see, Pamela, could you please read this first one? Hello, Pamela. Sorry, I think I was reading, sorry. Oh, okay. um, one, two small and two large warehouse. The most frequent mistake made when investing, investing in logistics is renting a warehouse that is too large. Of course, when it started out, it's not unreasonable to assume that a business will make maintain its current sales role necessitating a warehouse big enough to store whatever inventory might be needed but I, it can become a problem if sales forecast proved to be too optimistic and the company is left paying for a space it cannot use very of good. Of course. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. So what do you understand on this that you read already? Uh, well, we, when sometimes um, brands uh, or need to rent to rent uh, spaces in a maybe in a store that maybe is too much that they're the the brand needed. Because well, you say about uh, um, if they. Uh, is it is the initial uh, the the start about um, a new brand maybe uh, it's too optimistic to is uh, to rent in this case and a space in a store that maybe they don't need it too much. Very good. Perfect. That is it. Actually, very good. So the most frequent mistake made when investing in logistics is renting a warehouse that is too large, too much space. Of course, it says that we we believe that the business is going to grow and we are going to need a lot of space very soon. But one word that is very important in this one is forecast. What is forecast? Do you remember? It's a prediction, prediction, prediction. Very good. It's the prediction of what do I going to what I'm going to produce or sell, right? If you are too optimistic, yes. mm, that is not going to be that good. Okay. And uh, well, we are going to continue reading. Let's see. Um, Flor, could you please read the second one? Of course. It's just as easy to make the opposite opposite mistake and rent a small warehouse. Talking talking into account the scope of business at any given moment. A, sm a smaller space could be a solution, but it is a poor long-term strategy. A small warehouse can quickly become a wrong. What do you understand on this one, Floor? Oh, 
Okay, anybody wants to give an opinion on this? It's the other extreme. In this case, the space is not enough for the demand or for the forecast or, or maybe the forecast fail. And That's the sales in the market, the customer require more inventories. That is it. So yeah, this is the other way around, right? So it's the, the warehouse, the, the space is too, too small. It's not good. And actually it says there, it's a poor long-term strategy. So yeah, you can start with not that much space, but you need to think what is going to happen whenever you scale your productivity. So uh, that may cause you some problems if you don't analyze that very well. Let's see, the last one on this one is going to be for Susana. Can you say me again, please? Yes, the last part, please. Okay. So what kind of, of space will be suitable in the case of a business that's not easily scalable? And this is especially true in e-commerce. E-commerce, it is worth considering outsourcing logistics by relying on a third party to handle the details and business can pay for as much space as it needs and it still have room to, go, to grow. Very good. What do you understand on this one? I understand if they if the business is relation with e-commerce principle, they have a considered many many circum many I don't know how to say this word uh, many circumstances 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 mm -hmm. and the first is a big space like a how do you say bodega? Warehouse. Oh, like a warehouse. And I, and maybe contract um, Argos, uh, something like DHL, maybe? Okay, so yeah, actually the solution here, as you may see here, is to consider uh, getting a third party logistics. It's easier. I mean, you don't need to rent or purchase or create or build a warehouse. If you build a warehouse, but it's too large, that is more investment than the one that you need. If you build a warehouse and it's too small, then you need to invest more money in other things. So third party logistics, that sounds like a very good solution on this. Good, perfect. Let's move to the next. Okay. This is going to be uh, the first part. It's going to be for, uh, I don't know if you're able to see that. I'm going to present, maybe it's better that way. Oh, here it comes. Okay, uh, this one is going to be for Lourdes. Okay. Number two, Charles and a lack of procedures. When not operating on a large scale, it's easy for a business to fall into the habit of handling the storage, packaging, and shipment of its own inventory. One upside of this is that personnel on the ground can develop a feel for what they were. However, this type of knowledge is not based on any kind of objective strategy. And if someone gets sick or leaves for vacation, bottlenecks can occur. When a business begins to pick up this kind of personal luck can suddenly become a big problem. Very good. What do you understand on this one, Lourdes? Hmm. 
I I don't know very well, but I understand that um, the companies uh, can be fall in the problem when when in the the have habit about of a stock for example if a, if the company a, have a storage in impatation in in um, And in other, in other, for example, in other process of of the product, uh, if only uh, only move or a specific uh, quantity of product. Okay, very good. Uh, yes, actually chaos and lack of knowledge is regarding how companies they sometimes manage personal i mean if the company is not that big and that company manage their own inventory sometimes what happens is that if only one person knows the procedure when that person goes on vacation nobody knows what to what to do or what to say right so that mm. might be a big problem Yes, in the case, teacher, when, it, when there is high dependency of one person for a specific function, function in the, in the, for, for a specific brochure, and there is not backup, and the, the specific chart um, is impossible to take the vacation because who who covered during the during this term. But in this case is is in the small structure. I'm sorry, I don't listen to teacher. Yeah, it's also possible in big companies, but it's more common in small companies, definitely. Good, yeah, so we need to train people. Be ready if one person goes to other company or anything like that. Uh, the next one is for uh, Nelson. Could you please read the next one? A general maze. Is the weather house is a very common problem among developing and commerce. Say Rafael Skechenisky, founder a CU, a CU Omni Park. Therefore, is worth using the help of the logistic operator who have the experience and know how to help efficiently. Here, organize, organize or claims products process from the organization of the transport, draw the acquisition, acquisition of their source, and are the way the, the preparation and acquire infrastructure in the warehouse. Okay, what do you understand on this one? Uh, in the uh, in this case, uh, uh, talk about is the 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 the, the, the example is the one person it is organization in the in the, the business because in the in the help the logistics operation and and they have the the more experience. I think the 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 the, the person is have more organization is different in, different and the and the problem in after. Very good. So 
Uh, yes, a, a mess, a general mess in the warehouse is a very common problem. That happens sometimes in the warehouse. If you don't have a very good model system procedures methods, uh, sooner or later it's going to be a mess, right? So that is not good. And that's why it says that it's worth using the help of logistic operators who have the experience and know how to help efficiently to organize clients' products processes. So that's why sometimes it's better for us to get a 3PL. Below it says, it is also extremely helpful to use a system that gives products a unique code and then remembers its location quantity and even expiration date. So labeling in the correct way and with the correct information is also part of the solution. Labeling, and if possible, with a system where you can go to a computer and check for inventory for a specific product and know where is it. Any questions on the number two? Opinions? What's meaning lack, teacher? Lack of something means that you don't have that one. For example, if you say lack of experience, is that you don't have enough experience. If you say lack of money, it's because you don't have much money. So lack is not having something. I don't have something. Exactly. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Any other question? Okay, number three. Ada Patricia. Uh, okay, teacher. Another common? Yeah. Okay. Another on familiar regulation. Another common problem is a lack of um, knowledge about any legal provis provis that apply to the business. One example is unifamiliarity with hygiene and sanitary control requirements. It's turned out uh, that it's not only the seller is food or supplement who must take care of the state of authorization of, of it often also a place to save and other children eat them as well. Also, products considered to be higher risk include this, the spray and aerosol. So popular is the cosmetic and pharmaceutical industry required special permits. And it's not just certification issues. A business must prepare its warehouse and team to handle this and other dangerous products. Good. What do you understand on this one? No, teacher. Okay. Well, it says that another common problem is a lack of knowledge about any legal provisions that apply to the business. So, regulations, laws, procedures that sometimes we don't know very well, not only about producing, but sometimes about storing in the warehouse and also about the way you transport and distribute them. So one example is unfam unfamiliarity with hygiene and sanitary control requirements. So for example, in restaurants, when you are going to produce a lot of food, the way that they transport or the vegetables or the meat the way that you produce that one, the way that you deliver that one, the packaging on that one, sometimes require to accomplish certain laws, certain regulations. If you don't know that one, uh, you need to go and research. You need to get certifications, permits. You need to get all that is required so your business is working and, uh, smoothly and not having any problem in the future. I work in a pharmaceutical industry mm -hmm. and we have uh, many regulations, many law, many procedures, and it's for all. 
that is true. I mean, that is a very, a very unique situation because uh, since you have chemicals and things that is going to be very, very important, uh, I believe that you have like auditories from the government and things like that, one, right? Yes, yes, we have, we have, you know, we have um, the Direction Medicaments National. We have a uh, Minister of Salud uh, to done because we have a uh, um, how do you say things with uh, regulations and we have the ISO two okay and we are exposed to auditors internationals too yeah that is I mean that happens in that kind of. Uh, industries. You need to have a lot of permits and, and you need to know what are the papers, what are the procedures, quality, safety, many things. Good, good. Thank you for your uh, your comment. So, Ophelia, could you please read the last part? Hello, teacher. Yeah, the last part, please. I just have most IBs I train is and there is I choose I be formalizing institution in the the wedding house on host to harbor the products I the source a color satisfactory I that shares size and so many it's I bear necessary I to indicate especial as soon in the warehouse I but is I depends on what products I was store in all I I that have is his Teacher, your microphone is in oh, mute. Sorry. Okay, thank you. So, um, what do you understand on this one, uh, Ophelia? La estructura de una compañía es hay hay ese producto y es en especial expression especialidad de productos en I have the Houses. Okay. Uh, yes. I mean, uh, what it says that is that not only the people that is involved in the making of the procedures or auditories or things like that have to know this. Everybody has to have a train uh, in everything. Uh, also, they have to have information uh, in how to handle the product. So that is called safety data sheet. Okay. So it's like you need to to train everybody. Everybody needs to know the procedures and what is needed to be done in certain situations. Okay, this one is going to be for, let's see. Okay. Sulma. Hello, Sulma. Hola. Uh, can you read? Yes, the second. Yeah, the first one, please. Okay. More problems arise when young entrepreneurs are unclear about provisions for complaint about that their subcontract a courier companies and neglect to assert their rights. The ignorance 
is on Fortnite as damage to the product during transport. For example, it's a common occurrence. What do you understand on this? Um, I think when you are a princip principiant in the uh, the process of a uh, or in your business, you don't know how do you doing uh, many activities. For example, the transportation, how the the means in the paragraphs. And you don't uh, know how do you uh, um, can a package or what package use for your product, for example, and uh, or what transportation is better for your product. Very good. Yeah, actually, that is true. I mean. If you don't know the right procedures, if you have lack of knowledge, I mean, that is going to impact the business in every, every step of the logistics system. If, you, if there is one part that is not working properly because they don't know, because they are not trained, of course, it's going to have an impact on, into that one. Uh, let's see, the last part is going to be for Jancy. A business, yes, a business needs to know that the current company is obligated to accept a complaint within the seven day of delivery. Of course, a current may very often challenge such an 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 accusation. That is why the acceptance protocol is an obligatory element of very dispatch process. So protocols are the industry standard for professional logistics operators, often for us confirming the condition of the pay, pay package are also necessary as well as a recording of our sign. Very good, perfect. So yes, I mean, this is about an example about this kind of situation. So for example, uh, everybody needs to know that a, a career company is obliged to accept a complaint within seven days of delivery. After that one is not obligatory, sometimes they do it, but it's just because they want to. Um, and sometimes there are, uh, I mean, people in the US, they also, they want to sue you if you don't do your job and things like that. But, and uh, this is a protocol that is obligatory element in every dispatch process. So that is something that everybody does. So you need to know that procedure and you need to do what to do. For example, uh, you can see there that uh, photos confirming the condition of the package are necessary. So if somebody says, I have a complaint about this package, I received it, but it was in not in good conditions. So the company says, okay, please send us pictures on the package, on the way that it was damaged or anything like that. So they, they need to know about this kind of protocols, procedures. So training is very important at this, at this point. Any questions about this? No teacher, that's the way that we do when when we receive when we receive merchandise and the package are damaged or missing something, we took pictures and send it to the to the uh, supplier. Yeah, the supplier. Yeah, uh huh. And we made the the complaint. Very good. I mean, that is like the, the regular protocol, right? So if so, the, if you want to submit a, a complaint, that will be the protocol. But everybody needs to know that one. 
Okay, so the next one is going to be for Ricardo. Okay, teacher. Steed, creo que sí. Fair, Beijing, see the realistic that's the implementation of racist will help. They have, they have more time at effort. Since they love practice that you at a friend racist for each implement, which not automatic. This element be displaying a digital recept at the time that or is processed. This is a simple solution and ensure that in the event of increasing order, the fiscal has registered those tasks that's, that's, that's not slow the proper process down. Okay, this is a very good example about how you can take advantage of something. For example, since the law requires that you add a printer receipt for each shipment, so that is something that is mandatory, why not automate this element by displaying a digital receipt at the time the order is processed? So it's going to be easier for everybody. An order is placed and there, there is a, a receipt that is a digital one and uh, at the moment of the dispatch, you print it and that's it. You accomplish with the law, the requirements, and also it's going to be good for your logistics. So this is a very good example. Any questions on this? Okay, the next one is going to be for Pamela. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, yes, number four in the first paragraph, please. Ah, uh, no enough are for too many employees. The lack of a plan for the beginning of high demand season very often ends up with the owner spending uh, 24 hours a day in the warehouse packing the shipment. This is the time that could be invest in marketing and developing the business. Good, perfect. So what you understand on that one? Uh, maybe it's about uh, when sometimes in special locations take uh, the demand is more, uh, high demand, uh, well, they need more It's not doesn't matter the time that we're spending, because it's um, invested. Okay. Well, actually, it says the lack of a plan for the beginning of a high demand season. So that is very important. So, for example, for Christmas, you know that a lot of people is going to purchase many things. So your production is probably going to increase, but. If you don't have a plan for that one in advance, I mean, you have to plan that in August, for example, in July, what is going to happen in December, right? And then uh, what is going to happen if you don't have the plan that you are going to have people 24 hours a day in the warehouse packaging shipments. But instead of doing that one, they could be, doing marketing, developing the business, uh, focus on other important parts. If you don't have a plan, I mean, it's going to be a mess, definitely. The next part is going to be for Lourdes. Um, I'm opposite. We ourselves. Okay. We ourselves have made these mistakes. That's why we want to protect other online entrepreneurs from similar situation, says Tomek Kaspersky, founder and CEO Omnipack. I still remember one Christmas Eve, which we spent with, with Rafael, delivering packaging to various courier point and parcel machines. 
Very good. So as you can see that, that has happened even to big companies, to people that right now they have experience, but they made mistakes in the beginning, right? Because of their own experience, they tell to other people, don't do this. Do it this way better. Plan in advance. In that way, you are going to have the correct plan. The last part is going to be for Mayra. An opposite yet equal burdensome situation may be over investing. For example, employing too large a team with the thought that soon there will be a lot of work for them to do. For, furthermore, you often target about emergency planning, not being prepared, prepared for random situations. Suck as an accident, a computer crash, or an influence epidemic in the company. A small random case like this, uh, like this can cause company wide paralysis. Good. What do you understand on this one, Maya? Um, I think that the company we need to stay prepared for a uh, uh, anybody any, situa any situation, uh, for example, uh, crash a computer, uh, or for example, uh, the pandemic last two years, and we need to stay pre prepared for anybody situation. Very good, that is it, perfect. So yes, we need to have a plan for every kind of crazy situation that might be happening that is going to impact our company. Definitely, that is something that is a must. Okay, number five, this is going to be the first part for Carla. A lack of or use the wrong IT system. When running a small business, we often do not have the resources to invest in IT, in IT system. It may even seem justif justified not to spend the money. If the current business size does not require any automat automation of process, but over time, a lack of improvements can have a negative impact of a business, especially in a financial areas and a customer relation. Perfect. What do you understand on this one? Um, I understand that it is very important to require uh, invest in IT system because it's a support for all areas. Uh, it's very important uh, that uh, that company uh, can uh, can manage all information uh, about uh, IT system. Uh, for example, the financial areas and in customer relation and uh, sales includes in a content area in, I don't know, all, all company is very important that we have a IT system support. That is it, I mean. Uh, it, yes, it, it is. Is is really that a small company is very difficult to come with IT system? Yeah, yeah, I, I know that is for small companies when they are beginning, it's kind of difficult because they want to to save a lot of money, right? And they prefer yeah. to produce. But I mean, systems are very very important. Softwares are very important for this one. So so you can move on mm -hmm. with your company. Good. Okay, uh, Flor, could you please read the last one? And the lack of a co coherent system of coding and tracking products can quickly end in mistakes when completing 
shipment for customer. However, not only will customer be dis dissatisfied, dissatisfied. With, this, dissatisfied with this state of affairs, but also encourage product coding is allowed for any store. Good. What do you understand on this? And this case, um, I understand is about the the important the good system codification um, or uh, evitar. How do you say? Avoid. Avoid the mistake. Very good. So it's not only a good software, but also it has to be coherent, it says, according to my needs. So uh, codes is something that we need in, in this kind of situations. In, in logistics, coding is very important. So you know uh, what is going to be the procedure for one or another thing. Good. Uh, the next one is going to be for uh, Sell Me. The first paragraph, teacher. Yes, please. Imagine that we order the same product from three different wholesalers to say organize. We should have our own file for every single type of product. Then at the moment when we register a lack of goods, we can order it from the proper warehouse. However, commonly a lack of IT system and a spare time creates a temptation to cut corners. It's not uncommon for a store to copy files from a warehouse, which means that one type of product may have up to three different levels. We, this will cause unnecessary orders and cost. Good. What do you understand on this one? Mm, it's related to the, the register or report of the register, the existences. The inventory. Of inventory, yes, inventory and the good control about the quantities uh, exist, uh, really exist. Yeah, that is very important, right? Because you need to know right. how many do you have, what colors, where are they located, when can I ship them? So it's very, very important. Yeah. Teacher, can you repeat again what is luck? Lack Please? of is when you don't have something about it. For example, in this case, it's lack of IT systems, meaning mm -hmm. that you don't have an IT system or lack of goods. You don't have goods. You don't have products. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Okay. The uh, second part is going to be for Sandra. Second? Yes, please. What's more and is sufficient is system doesn't allow integration with a commerce platforms, resulting in a delay in the transmission of information, especially for customers who are waiting for packaging. A lack of taking which allow the customer to check the status of the order. And with an increased number of emails or calls with the question about the treatment and an increased amount of work. Good, what do you understand on this one? It's very important integration and, and 
and allows allow allows the to customer and and refer a packages as the CD products and status the order. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, if you uh, if you show to your customers a tracking system so they can check where is the product, when they are going to receive the package, you are going to avoid a lot of calls, a lot of emails, a lot of people that are angry about not receiving the, the product. Call the customer, uh -huh. call the customer, allow it. So that is something that also uh, all companies have to take into consideration. The last one, uh, let's see, Rose, please. Expensive packaging. A basic mistake is to assume that for the packaging to be attractive, it must be expensive. However, high, quant high quality doesn't have to mean expensive. The basic rule of, is the elimination of poor quality. Repeatedly wrapping a package with adhesive tail or stretch wrap will not improve its aesthetic appearance. Another principle connected not so much with visual issues, but rather with the effective securing of a shipment is the awareness of how a safety material will behave during transport. What do you understand on this one? <clears throat> um, for example, uh, when we send packages, uh, for example, for another country, uh, we may, uh, special carefully to the to the box to the product inside we put some foam we put uh, uh, some special uh, things that doesn't make that the product suffer uh, suffer an accident maybe we don't know also if we are a, a delicate product like a, like a camera yeah um and it's that's it the package uh, uh, an attractive package doesn't mean that the product is expensive but uh, we have to we have to be carefully involving or or doing something for example uh, we have a product that is in in a one package there are three but we we have to we have to elaborate uh, individual individual boxes and when we we saw one product we put uh, the product in one of these boxes and we prepare especially we we made the label many things and but the package you know it's not expensive it's attractive but it's not expensive yeah, that is it. So actually that's that's what it says, right? A basic mistake is to assume that packaging has to be attractive. But actually the most important is the quality, that the package is in good condition and the product is at the end in good condition. So that is something very important. At the end it says, for example, if we want to secure a small product to the walls of the container to prevent it from bouncing, the proper type of packing, uh, material is essential. That is why an employee's training is so important, not infrequently in good faith. For example, workers will wrap a fragile product with bubble wrap to strengthen the protection. But in reality, it does not change anything except to increase the consumption of materials and cost. So that happens. So we need to research also about that things. Perfect. Uh, so do you have any questions about the class of today? We check a lot of things, so, but that is very really good. Okay, so we're going to check the attendance. And uh, remember that uh, we need to continue practicing, try to check vocabulary. If you see a word in a presentation that you don't know, if you don't have the time to ask, you can write it down and check it, right? So that is a good thing for you to get more vocabulary. 
Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you today. I hope you have a wonderful night, dream in English, and see you tomorrow. Let's check the attendance. And Osmin, the 101 is for you today. You make the chair. Good. Okay, so let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. <clears throat> Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present, good night. Good night. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Good night. Good night. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Present, teacher. Good. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Have a very nice resting day or resting night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. and see you tomorrow. You tomorrow. tomorrow. Hello, Osmin, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, thank you. Nice, perfect, so welcome to the 101. And of course you have experience on this one. So let me ask you, the first question is, how do you feel that you are moving on? Do you feel that you are learning in the classes? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I, I think I learn every day. Very good, perfect. That I'm very happy about that one. And uh, do you have any questions about any topic, uh, any word, vocabulary, anything that you may want me to describe you, uh, explain you? In the topic uh, right, right now? Yeah, any topic that we chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I think my problem in every topic is okay. I I, I think no have problem. No, no have. I, I don't have problem. Too much problem uh, with the uh, with the pronunciation and uh, right. Uh, my problem is in listening and listen. Mm, I see. So uh, when you watch the videos, uh, you sometimes you don't get the ideas or the words. Yes, I I I, I like I, I see big video, uh, and also I I I, I listen music. It, it's very good. I, I I see. Okay. Yeah, there are many things that you can do so you can improve the listening. One is, uh, for example. You can watch a video in YouTube, for example, of a topic that is not difficult, a topic that is easy. You can watch it two, three times in English, only English. 
and try to understand, right? Try to see uh, what words you don't understand, if you understand the idea, okay? And then you can uh, watch it two or three more times with the subtitles, but in English. So if okay. you set the subtitles in English, you are going to listen and you are going to see the words and check the pronunciation. And so you are going to, to get to know that word. So that is a very good exercise that you can practice. Yes, I understand. It's practice is more important. Uh, yes, teacher. But uh, I, I, I think, uh, uh, how, how do you say poco a poco? Little by little. A little by little. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I understand conversation, but pro principal problem is listen. Mm -hmm. But 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 you you recommend is good. Uh, see uh, watch the video, uh, listen music, and subtitle is very yeah. important for have more interpretation. Yes, yeah, sometimes what happens is that we know the word, but the pronunciation is different. So that's sometimes what happens whenever we don't get the ideas on the listenings. Uh, but I mean, yeah, as you say, practice is the most important thing. If you continue practicing, for example, you, you know that INSA for classes finishes and then we have two or three weeks with no classes, right? So in that period, you can practice. You can practice, you can check grammar, uh, read a little bit, and also watch videos, listen to audios, so you can get more vocabulary. So that is it. Yes, it's, ah, okay. Uh, I remember in this moment, uh, another problem for me is in grammar. In grammar. Okay. So you can do exercises. There are online some kind of websites where you can go and check. You can practice all the grammar that you may want. Simple present, present perfect, anything, and structures, clauses, if clauses. So you just you say, for example, today I'm going to practice this, and you research and you do five exercises. That is going to be 15 minutes, and then you can continue learning about that one. Okay, it's, it's very good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Do you have any other questions for me? Uh, yes, Esteban. Um, what what would you recommend uh, me to uh, one one book in special for reading for uh, well reading? you can read any book the only thing that I can tell you is not to read uh, old books for example Shakespeare that is complicated because the English is mm. old English or uh, very technical things are not good. Uh, stories about regular life is good. Any, any story about regular life, you can start with short stories. Short stories uh, are going to be mm. a very good starting point. No, no large, no large. Yeah, short no. stories and then you can get a book. So first short yeah, yeah. stories and then a whole book. Okay, okay. Okay, teacher, uh, it's interesting the conversation with you. Okay, I, perfect. I, Remember that if you have questions, you can chat with me or in the group or directly. And of course, it will be a pleasure to help you out. Okay, teacher, I, thank you. Perfect, Zubin. So it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Okay, nice to meet you, teacher. Bye-bye. Uh, have a nice night. So do you, bye-bye now. Uh, yeah, same. <laughs>